Hello and welcome. Very good morning. You're watching the latest here on Mirror Now. I'm Afrida Rahman Ali. Let's begin with news coming in from Chennai first. First day of monsoon in Chennai and already several areas of the city have been flooded. Areas in Nungambakam and Kilpok are underwater. Questions are now being raised about Greater Chennai Corporation's monsoon preparedness. Pramod Madhav sends us this report. We're standing at a location in Chennai next to a road called as Gemini Bridge Flyover and the condition seems to be extremely severe as vehicles are trying to paddle through almost like you know a foot of water and it is becoming completely difficult for them. But this is the first day of monsoon and this such is the condition at this spot right now. You could see that like you know vehicles up to their bumpers are submerged in this level of water and this is a road which is a very important road in Chennai and next to the Gemini Bridge flyover itself but commuters have to like you know for at least uh, 300 meters they have to travel to this kind of like uh, almost a foot of water like you know after uh, nearly like five to six hours of rainfall the first day of monsoon this is not heavy rainfall but decent rain for but for this several parts in the city are submerged like this and now questions are being raised as to what exactly was done earlier itself considering that monsoons are coming even though the government said all measures have been taken on reality you don't see them much here questions are being raised about the like you know preparations for the mon for the monsoon by greater chennai corporation well meanwhile also let's talk about uh, the city of bengaluru where every year the city witnesses heavy to very heavy rainfall the city's infrastructure collapses with just one spell of rains and this year too it's no different that way rains brought the city to a complete standstill and inundated over 300 houses in hoza kerahali and lack of desilting of storm water drains have uh, also become a common problem bbmp's road infrastructure chief engineer said that this year saw unprecedented rains which led to the floods he also admitted that they are remodeling the storm water drains in the city of bengaluru this year we are witnessing a new phenomena of uh, rainfall that is the intensity of the rainfall has increased one and the quantum of rainfall is also increased. Uh, it is uh, in on 8th uh, September we got around 135 mm of rainfall per hour in the Hebal Valley which created a havoc in uh, the Hebal Valley side that is uh, Batranpura, Horamavu and uh, up to Kalkere Lake. Uh, in the same way, we have witnessed uh, one more rainfall on 23rd of this month in uh, southern areas, that is uh, in the southern uh, south zone of Bangalore and also in one Dattatreya Nagar, which is uh, having a hillock and uh, also a plain land below the hillock. There was a cloud burst in the, on the hillock and uh, it uh, capillated in the flooding locally and also there was a lot of uh, discharge in the storm water drain also. Both this uh, has made us to rethink our uh, strategy of uh, water uh, management. If it rains for uh, more than 45 minutes heavily, so we are facing the problem. We are getting around uh, 3 feet uh, water uh, knee deep water uh, and uh, which is entering into our houses uh, and into the sums uh, and every time uh, when it floods uh, we are losing around uh, one and a half to two lakh rupees worth uh, furnitures uh, then cars submerged uh, and every time we take uh, vehicles to the service centers uh. the story of decade story old that uh, bangalore and karnataka faces the same issues on storm water drains in the especially the raining season bbmp had all the time in the life to clear uh, to clear the diesel, the storm water drain, which till today it's not done, maybe a few part. In the month of May, they have been announcing about uh, desilting of these drains and they're spending money on that. But till now, we don't find in Bangalore that any of the uh, drains have been desilted. We also spoke to urban planner Ravi Chandar, who tells us that the current drainage system is based on rainfall pattern of the earlier years and it has not been upgraded. It is based on outdated rainfall data. Listen in. The problem with Bangalore 
is that the current system is designed with old rainfall data, which is about half the levels that have been experienced over the last decade or two. So that is something that needs to be rectified if we are to have a stormwater drain designed to meet the kind of rainfall that we experience. Now, like the peak rainfall that we have experienced in the last week would test any stormwater drain system, including the Bangalore one. In such cases, it is important to have a disaster recovery management system or a resilience management system to be able to recover from the setback because of the excessive rainfall.